Hello! Coming to you from Mexico today. It's about as live as it's going to come. <laughs> yeah. We're interrupting your normal, well, we don't really have a normal schedule. Yeah. You're mostly We're in scheduled. Mexico. We're on Mexico time. Sunday episodes. We're going to cut ahead. We do have a couple to, to catch you up on from the last one, which was the tour of Mulahe, which incidentally we're back. You'll find out why we're back in future episodes, but we do want to interrupt the normal flow of things to let you know that we have some problems right now, and you may be able to help with some creative thinking, solutions, ideas, ideas, help, help whatnot. We are safe. We are okay. There are some haters out there that probably think like we're being held hostage. Maybe we should hold up a sign like we're safe. I mean, Send. but but like a but like a like a code. Yeah, yeah, like, like code, <laughs> no. like like POW. So like. yesterday, Chris is going on and on, but <laughs> usually gets mad at me. But uh, our fridge broke. So. Like yeah. it, it died. It just like said, it, it. It's done. Yeah, it said I'm it's, not working anymore. Yeah, it's no error codes. Acts like it works fine, but it is not cooling at all. We have trouble shoot everything and I don't know at this point we're like is it even worth fixing it it's 22 years old I'm looking at it and it's pretty <laughs> it's still blue on we the really, outside we really like the fridge like it stinks that it's done this but I well, mean, it's big, it it's is a, old it's a big fridge where it's bigger than we're used to so it's great we loved it for all the right reasons and it was doing its job yeah we actually installed a motherboard on it when we first got it because we couldn't try it when we bought yeah, it was used. Yeah. You can go back and if you recall, like all the criteria we said to look for in a used mm -hmm. RV, we couldn't actually test it because we knew it was already broken. But we put a new motherboard in and it worked great. Now, not so great. Yeah, so. So, here's the thing we are not freaking out because that's what you can do in the situation. If you recall, and some of you are joining late in the game, our truck broke down several years ago and we were told it was done kaput over long story short it cost us about seven thousand dollars a ton of stress that's all the gray in my beard i think came from that experience but what we decided is two things if you're a fan of hitchhiker's guide to the galaxy you know how that book starts out if you're not a fan look it up link in the description below because it's a pretty awesome book and it's a pretty awesome movie anyway don't panic that's the number one rule when this kind of stuff happens is don't panic. So an RV refrigerator like the one we have is about $1,800 to $2,200 to replace. It's not cheap. It is not cheap. Plus the installation on it. If I could do the installation, great. But if not, it's another couple hundred dollars. Uh, yeah. So we're looking at a significant problem. But the idea is don't panic. We haven't panicked. We have for the last almost 24 hours straight with eight hours of sleep slept fine last night we weren't going to stress out about it we got ice on all the things that we wanted to try to save fell asleep last night woke up and pretty much from the start we were at it trying to find a solution so how do you solve problems when you're in baja mexico <laughs> i mean mexicans are great at fixing things but i think we got, and, and everyone here is so helpful. Like, we've had so many people come over and trying to help us figure this out. Don Chano's the campground in Mulahe. And we even had, you know, a friend that we've made here, a local, that brought us a cooler and everything. So it's been, you know, the people here are awesome. But I think the fridge is beyond. Yeah, I think and it's beyond fixing. Let's talk about the crazy part about this. So there's this guy in town, or this guy that's been camping nearby, and they call him what? Fridge. They call him Eddie, refrigerator, Eddie, Eddie. refrigerator Eddie. It's like he's an expert at fixing RV refrigerators. So he is coming and he's camping yeah. here tonight or tomorrow. We're not certain when. So we'll probably have him come by. Yeah, just to look, just at, to look it. at it and probably pronounce it dead. If yeah. there's some, by, by some miracle, there's something he can do to bring it back to full life. Not like, oh, I can buy you, you know, maybe a week, maybe a month, maybe six months. The uncertainty of that is not worth the stress at that point. Um, but we're going to have him come by because what are the odds of that? What are the odds? Yeah, that he just so that, happens to show up. That like there's a refrigerator a day or two or right after our expert. fridge breaks, you know? <laughs> so I went over to talk to Jesus, yeah. who is uh, one of the managers of the park here. And I was like, hey, our fridge died. 
I was giving him some fish. We had some fish we wanted. And he goes, hey, Refrigerator Eddie, or whatever his name is, he's, he's coming here tomorrow. Don't worry about it. I'm like, whoa, that's amazing. So, so it could be amazing. He could get us fixed and no problem, but we're counting on getting some bad news or confirming the news that we've already accepted is bad. So another really awesome resource that we have leaned on heavily, and it was very surprising to me because it's usually a negative group, but Lindsay talk, hopped on Talk Baja. It's on Facebook. It's a group on Facebook. And she posted, we need help. Here's our situation. The refrigerator broke. We don't want to end our trip short in Baja and travel north. We don't have the money to spend right now to buy a new RV refrigerator. What are your thoughts? And you got, what, 30 or 40 responses pretty quick? Got, yeah, I mean, and everybody was so nice. Like, I was expecting a couple of, you know, like, side... Yeah, well, you, mean remarks. You like, know who you are if blah, you're still blah, blah. watching. You give them to us too. Like, but no. You shouldn't be traveling in Mexico. You're going to die. <laughs> this is a sign that you should get out of Mexico because you're well, going to die. <laughs> but everybody was really Don't nice. Don't die in and, Mexico. And, and quite a few people mentioned Refrigerator Eddie. Which is awesome. So Small world of Baja. It's part of why we love traveling. And here. a lot of people recommended getting like a cheap little mini fridge or a chest cooler and trying to find one down here has been kind of uh, ordeal. Yeah. So, so. <laughs> Amazon doesn't work here quite like it works where you are used to in the United States or Canada. You can order it one click. It might even be there that same day. We're told anything we buy yeah, on Amazon we might take a couple weeks. We can't have stuff shipped here, but you have to pay more shipping fees. You have to pay importation. Well, it's going through. Yeah, it's got to be imported and all that stuff. So long story short, we don't know what we're going to do. But we are not panicked in the short term. We're keeping everything on ice. Jesus is letting us borrow the cooler. We do have friends coming down from uh, the San Diego area. We've been waiting on Scott and Melissa and the boys for a while now. They're making their trip down, which is great timing because it could have been a lot worse. They may be able to find something for us in the short term. We don't really know the long term. I can tell you we don't have $3,000 to buy a new RV refrigerator install even if we were in the good old united states of america and uh, i don't know what you know maybe y'all have a suggestion that should we go with a different with kind a of residential fridge? type of fridge i mean are there what you've read about maybe kits to turn this into just a standard i've read about kits that turn kit. yeah that turn your regular rv fridge you take out the old cooling unit and you put in like this compressor unit so we yeah. know so. Our viewers are the best out there. We don't have the most, and we know that those of you watching this, you are the best of the best. And we know you guys look out for us every opportunity you can. We've actually, in this campground, met, what, 10, 12 different people? Yeah, we've met a lot of people that watch our videos. Which is awesome. It's it tells us that, that you get it. You get it. We're, we're real people. You're real people. And real people like to help real people out. So normally we're trying to help you out and see how we're doing things and what we're doing and where we're going and how to do it the best. Now we decided we would appeal to you to help us out. If you've got any experience in this, um, we are okay. We are safe. Our food is fine. We had some what, probiotics yeah, that I have we some have to keep like cold. cold. Medicine. It has to be refrigerated. So <laughs> we're keeping that cold. Everything that's going to be fine. Um, we're just going to learn a little, live a little differently with whatever our short-term solution is. And then, of course, when we get back, we're looking at being back in the United States sometime in April. And by then, hopefully, you guys have come up with a really awesome solution or can confirm some of the things that we're kicking around. Um, but the idea is we have a Dometic refrigerator. It's the RV style. It's got the freezer and the refrigerator. And that model is discontinued, but the model that, the, that Dometic built... To replace this is between eighteen hundred to twenty two hundred dollars, depending on when we might catch a sale, um, and that's both. Both of those are way too much for us right now. So we did promise that we'd have full disclosure on our finances. I'm going to put the link down below where you can see our monthly budget and see how we are sticking to our two thousand dollar a month. In the midst of this, we're going to try to not go into savings until we have to fix the the big final whatever the big expensive fix is going to be but whatever we do in the short term if it's buying a cool or a nice we're going to try to keep that within our budget um, but we will share the budget link below if you haven't done so we are posting regularly what our monthly budgets are what we're spending it on so you get an idea of how we're spending our money even here in Baja if you're planning that kind of trip and we'll also be posting in the future 
how we're making money. And I can tell you right now, we are not making enough money to buy a new RV refrigerator. I do all the numbers usually at the end of the month and we're getting close. So I kind of have an idea of how we're doing, but we are not doing that good. We're not doing good enough to be able to support ourselves full time on the road, which is why we still work as we travel. However, I can tell you we can't afford a new fridge. So that's why we'll be creative. Uh, maybe like all these RVs we see like broken down on the side of the road that are like up on a hill somewhere. They're Mexican and they've probably been there for 20 years. Maybe we'll just break into one <laughs> and take their fridge out and put it yeah, in our Yeah, because it probably works great. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm got, <laughs> you gotta be, got to be open-minded when this stuff happens. Oh, another thing that happened that we wanted to tell you about. In the spirit of things breaking, our power converter is broken as well. It We're, broke a while ago. Yeah, it's, it's been broken for a month and a half or so. Yeah, but our solar is so great. We're we really worried. haven't had any worries as long as our solar doesn't break. So the way that a power converter <laughs> works, really quick story is it takes your shore power, your 30 amp, in our case 30 amp, coming in and it divides it off. So it sends it out to your power outlets. If you've got 110 power outlets, like we've got one right over here. There's a couple behind us, all around us. So it sends power there, so you're able to plug things in and charge. But it also sends power to your batteries to top off your batteries when you're plugged into shore power. So we can't use our converter to actually top off our batteries right now. So what Lindsay just said is our solution. Again, don't panic. We are like, hmm, I wonder if our converter should be buzzing. It was going like bzzz, It was really loud. Things were rattling and the lights started flickering, so immediately we found the breaker that controls yeah. it. We shut it off because it can cause damage to the batteries that we didn't want to cause by having it continue to run. So we turned it off uh, at the breaker, but we kept so we can run things off of our um, power outlets. We just can't charge our batteries. But as Lindsay said, 640 watts of power up on our awesome Henry's painted tropical roof. Um, for those of you who are following Lindsay with our TikTok and seeing that video, um, we put our solar panels on the roof and they are charging us up fantastically. So um, we're just learning. We're limping right now. I would say this is like getting punched in the in the thigh um, like um, a Charlie we, horse. We do have a solution for the converter. We do have a friend coming down. Yeah, they're bringing we it We ordered down. one a, long, a while ago because this happened, what, over a month over ago? Over a month ago. So, so Scott and Melissa are bringing, bringing that down. down. And we'll be able to get Hopefully that all... We'll, we'll do a video on how to install a converter. <laughs> if you need to know how to install a yeah. converter. But uh, on that note, I am exhausted. It's been mentally draining trying to figure out, like, is this the end of our trip? Do we have to go back to the States to get this fixed? And a lot of our friends said, what are you thinking? Like, don't go racing off that far ahead. We made a lot of friends in Baja, too. Reached out to them and asked them their thoughts and their questions. They're like, no, Baja is beautiful. Just live out of a styrofoam cooler if you have to. Enjoy the time here. That would be roughing it a little too much, but if that's the way it goes, that's the way it goes. We love our time here. We love the experience we're having, the people we're meeting, the things we're seeing and doing. So the dream will stay alive for the time being. But again, we wanted to reach out to you guys on the same day as we're dealing with this stuff. So we'll put this video up in just a couple minutes, let you be a part of that experience of helping us figure out how to get through this on the long term with our refrigerator. And uh, yeah. If you happen to be in Mulahe at Don Chano's, we know we have a couple friends in here now. Feel free to stop by. They started serving alcohol again here in Mulahe. Yeah, they quit serving alcohol. Not that we're COVID. big drinkers, but uh, we got into town a week and a half ago, and uh, we said, "Buy camp. a beer." I was like, "I just want an ice cold beer for happy hour," and everything shut down. No alcohol at all in Mulahe. Well, that lasted for eight or nine, ten yeah, days. Yeah, it didn't last long. And it just so. lifted. So, um, yeah, come by and have a happy hour drink if you're one of our Don Chano Mulahe friends who happen to be watching this as we put it up. On that note, it's time to get going and getting this published for you. So thanks for taking time to watch. Thanks for being an intimate part of our journey. We couldn't have this life without you. Send your positive comments our way. Any ideas you have, we will be eating them up and we'll respond to them so you know we are listening to what you have to say because we appreciate you very much. Anything else you want to say, my dear bride? Anything the dogs want to say? <laughs> we got one dog here. One dog there. Anything you want to say, Evers? No. No. The speak. No. Speak. You want to speak? Do you love me? Do you love me? She's not in a talk. Do you love me? Evers, do you love me? She's. Do you love me? She doesn't want to talk. Do you love me?
She doesn't love She's it. She's not even trying. It's usually she'll make a little growl noise. But no. So, on that yeah. note, we'll <laughs> see you when we see you. If we see you, if not now, we'll see you later.